the entire idea that we are having uh, and that has been the dogma of the generation has been that a protein causes damage. Therefore, if I remove the protein, I will improve the damage. This is valid for Alzheimer's disease, this is valid for Parkinson's, this is valid for tau -opathies. It's not that easy. All the trials that were monoclonal antibodies target to beta amyloid in Alzheimer, to tau in PSP and similar conditions, or to alpha synuclein in, in Parkinson's disease have been failing. This is telling us that, yes, for sure, we have a protein accumulation, but likely that is an epiphenomenon or something else. So we cannot, removing the protein doesn't necessarily mean that we will have an improvement of the condition. Um, this is changing the way we are thinking about this condition. This is changing the way we are imagining the condition and likely um, is going to, uh, is, it is affecting all, everybody in trying to find different and newer approach to target and tailor specific condition for the specific phenotypes because one of the most important things in the generation that we have now is that not everybody is the same. We have a number of phenotypes that maybe be part of the big spectrum of disease, but everybody is different. Therefore, maybe we already have treatment for this condition once we understand the different phenotypes and the different meaning of the phenotypes.